down the uh, road in the park. Exercise jog. Uh, not, a, not an all-out run, but a, maybe going along for 30 minutes or something like that, jogging through the street or it's through the park. Exercise. Exercise. A lot of people jog early in the morning for exercise. Want to go out for a jog? Well, how long? Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, okay. You know, and then they just exercise through the park, jogging, going for a jog. A run be a lot faster than a jog or a trot. A run could be a very speedy effort. A race, he is running a race, a one mile race. So he's not jogging and he's not trotting, he's running all out to win the race. You can run for president. Doesn't mean to run, it means to compete. Running against other people. Run a business. You're not running in the sense of movement. You're directing a business. Do this, do that. And walk. Take a walk. Take a walk. Go on foot. To move forward. Yeah, to move forward at a slow pace. Yeah. Walking. Walking. Take a walk. Take a hike. Hike what is, is a like hike? trekking, like trekking, hiking, trekking. Yes. Hike would be a long walk. Yes, sir. But if somebody said, just take a hike, not very good. Mm -hmm. Take a hike and ask you to leave the room. Why don't you just take a hike? In other words, why don't you leave? <laughs> Different ways. But amble is again like a stroll. Wander along, amble, stroll, trot, jog, run, walk. All different movements. But as I mentioned, there are probably 20 other or 25 words that you can substitute for these and still have the same idea. There are many words like that. Amble, trot, stroll. Run, walk. Resolved. They are arguing about what time to leave for the airport. 
or they're arguing about almost anything. They're constantly arguing those two. They argue all the time. They are having verbal disagreements every day. It's unbelievable. What is a debate? Debate when two persons are giving their own reasons uh, to prove something. Yeah, debate would be to uh, have two sides to an issue and one side trying to convince the other side that they're right, whereas the other side is trying to convince the opposite that they're right. So there's two issues and they are going back and forth to try to prove which is the correct way. They are debating the issue. Shall we debate it about what time we should leave for the airport? Well, I think we should leave at 3. Well, I think 4. Well, okay, let's resolve it. 3.30. Oh, okay. We don't have a problem. Approve. To accept someone's application? Agreement. To, to accept someone's application? Approve. Giving a positive response? Right. To give your, okay, I approve or I okay your choice. It's okay to do this or do that. I approve it. You have my permission to do what you just said you wanted to do. I approve the fact that you can leave now for the airport. Approve. Dispute, approve, protect, debate, and argue. They're having an argument about what? Oh, about what color to paint the walls. Oh, really? They'll be at it all day. Argue. So ifs and buts, we can say ifs and buts, argue, ifs and buts. Ifs and buts? Yes. Well, yeah, <laughs> if, <laughs> but, yes. And but, if I say this, but you say that, the rhythm to beat, the rhythm to but, <laughs> it can to be, yeah, argue can be a million different things, <laughs> and, and probably many different ways. The debate, usually a little more controlled. Mm -hmm. A little more follow the rules of the debate. You talk for five minutes, I talk for five minutes. Argue, uh, maybe I talk for 10, you talk for 30 seconds, or something like that. So there could be a difference in an argument and debate. In a sense, a debate is an argument about which side is correct, but there are rules to follow, and it makes it a lot more polite in a debate than it would be in an argument. Dispute. To find fault with a decision, you can dispute the umpire's call. The umpire said, out. And the manager of the opposing team said, oh, wait a minute. Uh, we dispute that call. We think he was safe. Well, let's take a look at the video or something like that. So we use it for some piece of land, also disputed area, some state or something. Disputed, uh, disputed area. About who owns it or something like that? Yes, yeah, who has the title to the uh, to the ranch or to the to the farmland? Mm -hmm. Well, he says he does. Well, but he, he says his father gave him the, uh, gave it to him. Well, let's go to the uh, to the land office and find out who owns the land. Oh, wait a minute, there's a dispute over who owns the property. We'll have to go to the commission to resolve the dispute. He says he owns it, this guy says he owns it. <laughs> we'll find out who's got the authority, who owns the title. There is a dispute and we will resolve it at the commission's office. So there's many, many different things that can be argued and disputed. Protect, debate. Okay, any questions about that? Any more questions about that before? Argue, debate.
ชื่อบุญดาเป็นคนไม่ก่อตัวไอดอลเป็นคนบุญดาที่อาศัยแห่งความโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเองโดนเอง contribute 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 volunteer 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 what is a volunteer uh, a person who is working for some institute or for some government uh, without any salary he is a volunteer person okay. volunteer. only to serve his country or to serve some institute for okay. example you are teaching here as a volunteer teacher right A volunteer, yeah, free will, if you will. I mean, the volun, the, the probably from the Latin for will, to do something without uh, recompense, without being given a, a salary or some uh, other form of payment, to do something to uh, as a free will expression, rather than be, to be paid a salary or to charge a fee or something along those lines. To do something uh, free of charge, let's say, a volunteer. He's not being paid by the company. He's strictly donate. Uh, he's strictly uh, helping at the uh, kitchen to prepare food for the poor or something like that. Donate. What is donate? Uh, to give something uh, without any. Uh, Without expecting something from something, right? Uh, to, to, to provide uh, either time, you can donate your time, Blood. or you can do donate money to a cause uh, for which you uh, have a feeling, a good feeling, or support. And you would donate, let's say, a thousand baht to a, a group that is trying to help the hungry people yes. that have no food, and you're just contributing. You're you're giving a donation. A free gift from yourself to the organization to help a certain cause. I am donating my time as a volunteer, or I am donating money or some other item uh, to give uh, without any uh, anything being paid back to me. A donor. A person, a person who donates. A person who donates is the donor. Who gave who gave the uh, thousand baht to the uh, charity? Oh, that fellow over there. He's the donor. He gave. He donated. The donor donated the thousand baht to help the uh, people uh, in the kitchen to uh, prepare food. The donation. Is the noun of donate? Noun of donate is donation. It, it's the thing that he gave. He donated his time, which was his donation, or he donated his money, which was his donation. The thing that he provided, the donation, contribute to take part in to take part, take part to contribute to the effort in some way to be part of a member of a group that is trying to do something. He's contributing his time to serving food in the kitchen. Uh, for the poor people that have no food, he's contributing money. He's giving money to the charity. He's contributing time, money, whatever, to help some cause, for example. So a lot of a lot of this is pretty much similar in the general meanings of donation, donor, donate, contribute, volunteer. Somebody's helping somebody in some way. Volunteer, volunteer firemen, people that just go out and help put out fires. They're volunteers. They don't get. They're not hired as firemen. They're volunteers. They're contributing their time at the charity. He's helping serve food on weekends. He contributes his time to the effort. His donation, thousand baht to help the people. Who's the donor? He is. He gave a thousand baht. He donated the money. He gave the money free to the people. Any questions about those words?
to donate, contribute, volunteer. They're all pretty much the same idea. Incorrect, teacher. Incorrect. Incorrect. How do you spell it? E N C O U R E A E G. Incorrect. Oh, encourage? Encourage. Encourage, right? Oh, encourage. Yes, it's to take support and encourage. Uh, and to encourage it is to give support to somebody for, for something in the sense of I am encouraging everyone to go home and study English for the next six hours and then come back tomorrow morning and be ready to go. I encourage you, I try to spur you on to uh, a greater effort. You have my encouragement. I'm not going to say I don't care, do whatever you want, forget about it. No. I'm encouraging you to study hard, practice, and improve. I stay beside you. Huh? I stay beside you. I, I keep support. I stay beside you. I stay beside you. I stand beside you. I, I, I stand beside I you. I stand beside you in support of your effort. Yeah, right here. Cool. Okay, we'll pick it up tomorrow at this point. Okay. Okay. Have you come across anything in the uh, rest of your day that you have a question about? Make sure you bring it up in the morning and we'll discuss it here.